Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got Robert writing in. Uh, heading of this email is Camera Choice. So he's got a question here. Hey Matt, my name is Robert and I watched a lot of your videos lately. I was hoping to get some help with gear choice. I'm just starting to get into photography and I'm going to be focusing on livestock photography, cattle, sheep, goats, etc. I also love landscape photography as well and will do some portraiture because I have two young children. My choices are between the Fuji XT20, the Canon SL2, and the Canon T7i. I'm not concerned as much about size and weight, but I am about performance. The AF system overall, image quality, uh, low light performance, etc. The bulk of what I'll be doing is stills. I will be doing some video. Thanks for your time, Robert. Well, we have here the XT20, which I love this little guy. That is what, yeah, you were looking at the 20, not the 2. Just clarifying. And the 18 to 55 F2, 8 to 4, which I really, really like too. Uh, you're looking at the T7i and the SL2. Probably between the two of those, I would go with the SL2. It's a little less money, and I think it's a baby at 80D. It's a great camera, very good. But out of all of them, if you want to do some video and you're looking at image quality and the best autofocus, I think this is your guy. You got 4K in here. It looks really cool. I love the retro looks. Obviously, I'm thinking you're liking the looks as well if you're looking at an X-T20. I got the 50 F2 on here, which is a fantastic lens. This is probably the best kit lens ever made. Close. I mean, if there's another one out there that's better, maybe it's years ago. But 18 to 55, metal build, great optical, uh, very, very smooth zoom and focus. Um, just an amazing kit lens. Uh, I, I've said it before and I'll say it again. This, this lens blows me away. Um, you got a flip-up screen on here. It would have been nice if it was very angled, but you do have a flip-up screen. So that's a positive that it's not fixed. Um, you got 4K. You got a very, very good autofocus system. Fuji is a dark horse in that sense because um, everybody knows the Canon dual pixel AF in video and in live view is very good. Everybody knows that our people are catching on that Sony's as good or better on their latest bodies. But what a lot of people don't realize is Fuji has really, really refined that system. You can tweak and control it and do a lot of it's. It's very, very good. I would say it's right up there. I'm not even gonna say it's third in line. It's it's a it's got some differences that are better, and it's got some stuff that's maybe not as good. But overall, very, very strong uh, video constant autofocus system, like to be focusing smoothly and accurately during video. Uh, so my recommendation would be the XT20. I like the SL2. Not as big a fan of the T7i. It's kind of boring to me. I would go SL2 or ADD or M50 in the Canon lineup. But this guy here, for everything you're asking about, this has the better autofocus system. I would go so far as to say it's got the better overall image quality and low light performance as well. It's also got better video. It's 4K. It's a great little camera and available at some really good deals lately. Uh, what do you guys think though? Let me throw it back to our viewers. Do you guys agree with me? Would you go with an X-T20 in this situation? Would you go with a Canon SL2 or T7i, the other Canon? Which one would you go with and why? Let us know in the comments below. Always great to hear back from you guys. Helps round out the advice and the discussion for our viewers when they're writing in with a question. And uh, helps them make their decision on where to spend their dollars. Thanks for your question, Robert. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.